Leaked. New female humanoid robot can dance. Japanese roboticists recently demonstrated a female humanoid robot singing and dancing along with a troupe of human performers. Video of the entertaining and surprisingly realistic routine went viral on the internet. Today, we find out more about this dancing humanoid. How did it happen? To find out, we looked over at Dr. Kazuhito Yokoi, leader of the humanoid research group at Japan's National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology, known as AIST. The secret behind the dance routine, Dr. Yokoi tells the world, is not the hardware, it's software. The hardware, of course, plays a key role. The AIST Humanoids Group is one of the world's top places for robot design. Their HRP2 humanoids are widely used in research, and the group's latest humanoids, the HRP4 and a female variant, the HRP4C, which is the robot in the dance demo, are even more impressive. But now, the biggest innovation is a new software to program the movements of the robot. The software is similar to those popularly used in CG character animation. You basically click on the legs, arms, head, or torso, and drag them to the position you want. You create a sequence of key poses, and the software generates the trajectories and low-level control to make the robot move. So, by editing a relatively small number of key poses, you can compose complex whole-body motion trajectories. The software verifies that the robot can indeed perform the transitions from one pose to the next. If the angular velocity or range of one of the joints exceeds the maximum values, the software adjusts the pose so that it's feasible to execute. The software also monitors the robot's stability. When it generates a trajectory between two key poses, it checks that the waist trajectory won't create instabilities and that foot trajectories will result in enough contact with the floor. If a pose is not safe, the software finds a similar pose that would keep the robot in balance. After creating a sequence, the user can preview the resulting motion on the 3D simulator. Or, if you have an HRP4C, you can upload the code to the robot and watch it dance. The masterminds behind it. Dr. Yokoi and colleagues Shinichiro Nakaoka and Shuji Kajita describe the software in a paper titled Intuitive and Flexible User Interface for Creating Whole Body Motions of Biped Humanoid Robots, presented at the latest IEEE RSJ International Conference on Intelligent Robots and Systems. One of their goals in developing the software, Dr. Yokoi says, is simplifying the creation of robot motion routines so that even non-roboticists can do it. We want other people, like CG creators, choreographers, anyone, to be able to create robot motions, he adds. An idea conceived. Yokoi says they wanted to prepare a demonstration for this year's Digital Content Expo in Tokyo, and one of his colleagues, Dr. Masaru Ishikawa from the University of Tokyo, suggested this kind of event. At last year's expo, they used the robot as an actress. They didn't have the software to create complex motions, so were limited to movements of the arms and face. It was a fun presentation. But this time, they wanted to do something different, and one of the ideas they had was a dance performance. One of the key collaborators was Sam, who is a famous dancer and dance choreographer in Japan. He is the one behind this tremendous dance routine. The human dancers are members of his dance school. They wanted to make the dance as realistic as possible, so they didn't choreograph the robot first. Instead, Sam created a dance using one of his students. Then they used the software to copy the dance from the human to the robot. What if the robot can't do it? What you give the software are key poses. If, for example, you have one pose and you create a new pose and making that transition would require a joint angular velocity higher than what the robot can perform, then the software would inform you about that, and you can adjust the pose, reducing the final angle of the joint. The software also automatically keeps track of stability. Of course, users should have some basic understanding of their robot, how it balances, but the software does the rest. It will alert the user if a pose is unstable and correct the pose. Software designed specifically for HRP4C? No, the software is robot independent. You just need the robot model. For example, if you have the model for HRP2, you can create HRP2 movements. Since they also have the model for HRP4, they recently created movements for this robot as well. 
Is HRP4 and HRP4C the same robot? They are not the same. HRP4C has 8 actuators in its head and can make facial expressions. HRP4 has no such kind of actuators. HRP4 is made by Kawada. HRP4C is special. It's a collaboration. At AIST, they designed the robot, but they had no factory to make robot hardware, so they collaborated with Japanese robotics firms Kawada and Kokoro. Kawada makes the body and Kokoro the head. You may know the Geminoid created by Professor Hiroshi Ishiguro of Osaka University. He's made several androids. His androids are made by Kokoro. So they also asked them to develop the robot head for HRP4C. They have very good know-how to make human-like skin. That's an important factor. Can these robots help around the house? Yes, that's actually the maker's dream. We need more capabilities to do that, like recognizing a person and objects in the house for example. That's not part of this software, but this software lets you program any kind of movement. And the programmers want more people to try to program the robot. At the moment, only researchers can do that. But in the opinion of the makers, that's not good enough. They want other people, like CG creators, choreographers, anyone, to be able to create robot motions. And maybe that will lead to robotic applications not only in entertainment, but in industry and home applications too. Think about the iPhone. Many people want an iPhone because it has hundreds of nice software applications. Apple didn't create all of those. They were developed by others, including some small developers, and they were able to have great success. So the iPhone is a platform. Video game consoles and computers are similar in that sense, and the makers of the dancing robot want to follow this business model. The final goal. The last question that strikes our mind is perhaps the goal of this entire project. What exactly is the goal of this group at AIST? Do they want to create humanoid robots to help other researchers who study robotics? Or do they want to develop robots that one day will actually be used in people's homes and factories? Well, the developers have said that humanoid robots in homes and factories, that's their final goal. In fact, that's their long, long final goal. But in the meantime, they think they can contribute to other application areas in humanoid robotics. One is the hobby and toy humanoid robots. It's a big area. The second consists of research platforms like HRP2 or HRP4 that people in academia can use to develop new software or theories on how to control robots and how to make them perform tasks naturally. The third area is entertainment. That's why they say they created the dance performance. They have also shown the HRP4C wearing a wedding dress at a fashion show or used it as a master of ceremony. But their final goal is not just entertainment, the possibilities are endless. That's all for this video folks, see you another time.